I'm doing number 24 from practice test number 4, and it says to sketch the graph of g of x equals 1 minus log base 3 of x plus 9 by using transformations and finding intercepts and any asymptotes. So the first thing we're going to do is find the parent graph. It's going to show what the graph is going to look like. So the parent graph for this one, since it's a log, is going to be f of x equals log base b of um, x. And then when I sketch it, it's going to be at 1, 0, and it's going to look just like this. So the next thing we're going to do is find the transformations. Since there's a negative in front of the log, it means it's going to flip over the x-axis. So you're going to do that transformation first. And then the 1 in front shows that it's moving up 1, and the x plus 9 means that it's going to move to the left 9. So up 1 and left 9. Next, we're going to find the intercept. So we're going to do the x-intercept first. And that means that you're going to make the y equal to 0. So your equation is going to be 0 equals 1 minus log base 3x plus 9. And then you're going to add 1 to this side and divide by a negative. So it's going to be 1. Or you're going to minus 1 to this side and then divide by a negative. So it's going to equal 1. 1 equals log base 3 of x plus 9. And then you're going to do, you're going to make it in exponential form. So it's going to be 3 to the first power equals x plus 9. Just like that. And then you're just going to subtract 9 from both sides. So it's going to be negative 6 equals x. So negative 6 is your x-intercept. And then to find the y-intercept, you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to make the x equal to 0. So it's going to be g of x equals 1 minus log 3, 0 plus 9. So it's just going to be 1 minus log of 3 of 9, log base 3 of 9. And then log base 3 of 9 is just going to be equal to 2, so it's 1 minus 2. And then your y-intercept would be negative 1. Now we're going to graph that. So I have the parent graph drawn right there. So the first thing we're going to do is um, flip it over the x-axis. So that's going to look just like this. It's shown in green is flipped over the x-axis. And then we're going to graph our um, intercepts. So the, the y-intercept was negative 1, so you're just going to put a point at negative 1. Okay. And then the x-intercept was negative 6. Now you're going to take the original asymptote and move it up 1 and left 9. So you're just basically going to move it left 9. And that's going to be your new um, asymptote. So the new asymptote would be x equals negative 9. And now you're just going to follow the same graph as the green and draw your new graph using um, this asymptote and these points. So that's how your final graph is going to look in the solid line.